No cap, no keezy. Zim Danzo is slowly dying a slow death. And personally, I would like to attribute that phenomenon to Pasha Java. Because he's the one who incepted the Mbinga culture in Zim Danzo. And the coming of the Mbinga culture in Zim Danzo meant that a lot of narratives that were supposed to be pushed by Zim Danzo from the perspective of the people, by the people, because it's a genre that was created for the people, by the people, but now it's slowly losing plot because its main narrative and goal is to push the narratives of the people that are funding Zim Danzo. Every other rhythm that dropped in the past few years has been an advert. Mashwede rhythm, Nash Nation, um, Passion Java Records rhythm. All those rhythms are straight up adverts. You are literally advertising Mashwede, Passion Java Records and Nash TV, Nash Paints. That's what has been happening in the Zim dancehall culture right now. So a lot of narratives and plots are being manipulated to suit what the Mbinga needs. And if there is one person who started that and made sure they utilize it, it's Passion Java. Mm -hmm. Passion Java's narrative is the regime. So whatever he puts money in, is just trying to push an agenda. We all know what that agenda is and we all know what the regime is. And by so doing, you are m making this artist create music that does not relate to the people. Zim Danzo was created to tell stories of the ghetto youth and emulate our troubles and, and all the things that we go through with it. But Passion Java is putting money into a genre that was created for the people to push the enemy of the people. I'm just being fair and straightforward. So now that narrative is going to make sure that Zim Danzo is going to fade and, and, and die eventually if it continues on this path. Right now, I cannot relate to it. It's, it's lacking substance. The things that are being pushed, the things that are being funded and what the Mbingas want, the music that does not go against their agenda. So what they do is they give you money and they tell you what to specifically sing about. They give you money and they take your music, they put it on their platforms and they peddle their brands and agendas. And the artists eventually don't benefit from whatever work they are putting in, in the music. It's now a game of Mbinga. What they've done is they've created a music industry that strongly relies on handouts, which is crazy, which, which should not be, you know, Artists need to place value in their music and they need to understand that they are, what they are trading is value and what they need to get back is value and you should not be told that for you to be a proper artist in Zim you need to have handouts. For you to get a band you need to be, it, it has to be given to you. You know that's why they cannot afford Winky D because Winky D has value and he trades value. So they cannot buy him a band because he already has one. You dig? A lot of Zim Danzo artists are not getting this. A lot of people within the music are not getting this. What does this lead to? It leads to not having structures in the industry. Now we don't have structures in the industry. Structures are gone. We are acknowledging the fact that, okay, these Mbingas would like to give us money, but it takes away the structures because now when you even go to perform, they are all, all on stage with you right there putting their hands in the air or saying some crazy shit in the background because they've given you money to make that song or they've given you money to perform at a certain show. So if that industry lacks, lacks structures, it means anyone who has money can come in the industry and take it over and rule it and use it to their own advantage. Right? It's, it's, it's not happening just in Zim Dance only. It's just that Zim Dance is one of the most impactful genres. If you truly want to fund music, do it the right way, create structures, create contact, contracts. We even saw this with Nash TV as well. The contracts they gave artists. And what did they, which genre did they get into first? Zim Danzo is the easy one to manipulate and take advantage of because it's created by the ghetto youths. I'm saying this out of love. If we continue on this path of allowing people with agendas and narratives to come and control a genre like Zim Danzo that was created for the people, we are dying a slow death because we are going to have a genre that does not have structures 
that 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 relies on handouts and when those handouts dry and when those people with the handouts are done with their agendas they're going to be left at the same place without structures without books without receipts without invoices to go back to and calculate what you've made and how have you marketed it and how can you redo that process again and passion java is spearheading this death of a genre we love so much i hope you realize that i'm not saying this because i had zen dance i'm not saying this because i had the regime of passion java or whatever but music should be music and music should be for the people and it should be relatable to the people it's trying to reach the moment you have agendas and narratives that's the moment we die as a music industry and that's why our music industry it is where it is they don't want you to develop structures because they know as soon as the structures develop they cannot use it for their campaigns they don't want chusport to come out on barry because they know if chusport develops into a big company they cannot easily manipulate fountain and levels and ribe but for now Subscribe, like, comment, share. This might even be blocked. I don't care. But all I'm saying is, let's not kill genres in the name of handouts. Danko.